Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3. Last time, we got the purple gem from High Time, among other things. But with the purple gem, we can head back into Tomb Time. Um, a level we couldn't complete last time we were here, because we needed the purple gem in order to get all the boxes. And there's also a... That's not what I wanted to do at all. Jeez. <laughs> Start the time trial like that, and it... I lost my mask too because of that. I forgot I would actually like grab the uh, the clock if I tried to do the supercharged body slam. I was like, I'm just gonna grab all these boxes real quick and I'm gonna use the supercharged body slam so I don't have to wait. But that didn't work out the way I planned. Um. <laughs> anyway, sorry for there not being any videos last week. I kind of I didn't really have time to record last weekend, and I usually don't record after work because. I'm usually pretty tired after work. Uh, I pretty much just lay down on my bed and I watch some YouTube and then fall asleep. Sometimes both things happen at the same time depending on how tired I am. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's pretty much what my uh, what my week is like. That thing exploded really fast. I... wow. Do they usually explode that fast? I guess in bonus sections they do. Or maybe I'm just used to uh, the mechanics of Crash 2 here. Oh god. Get up there. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it matters. Usually you would need that uh, that box to get... Well, maybe you can get up. Now I want to know. Okay, you can get up there that way if you have the double jump. Okay, just, just wanted to do science, that's all. Okay. Oh, come on now. Break that box. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't think I completed this bonus section last time because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to complete the level anyway, so might as well not even bother. But this time we can, and we're uh, we're quickly building up lives here, not to like jinx anything. <laughs> so yeah, I, I as I was saying, I pretty much only record these uh, on the weekends. I usually like record like to record them on Saturday afternoons. Um, even though I was kind of lazy this today, I had like a, I had, it was like 2 p.m. and I was like, I'm gonna record right now. Then I got into watching something, then I accidentally ended up taking a nap, and before I knew it, it was like 4 or 5 p.m. And I'm like, oh, oops. I guess I wasted today a little bit. Which is okay, I mean, sometimes it's good to just lay down and do nothing for a change. Especially if you're, uh you're usually pretty active throughout the rest of your week, I suppose. So, uh, without even bringing it up, we enter the purple door, uh, which is a pretty unique gem path. It's the only gem path in the game that doesn't have, like, this, the platform that takes you into it. Instead, we just have, uh, a door and a bunch of traps in here. I haven't decided yet if this is gonna be the way I go back. I think it will be, actually, because this is um, if you take this, it'll actually, well, I think this will actually, uh, lead you back over to the end of the level. Yeah, the end of the level would be back there. This is that platform that we couldn't use before. That's not what we want, though. We want to go back and see if we can, uh, see if we can make it through. And we have two masks, so, the, I think this is pretty much our best option here. Let's, well... I tried to avoid that, but then I just walked right into it again, like a dumbass. This time, let's do better, though. I still think this is easier to uh, do backwards than the main path. Actually, I'm pretty sure the main path just has those doors, so I'm, I think you can't even go backwards on that, even if you wanted to. So, we've made it back through and onto the main path. I guess I could cut this out since you've already seen this, but... Eh, I'll just leave it in. I mean, by, by now you've seen it like two times already, because we had to go through here through for the time trial once already. That is very poorly timed, but I'm going to try it anyway. Ugh. Almost ended up jumping off. My thumb slipped off the button. Let's not trigger that trap. I would like a checkpoint. Uh... Well, all I had to do was ask. <laughs> so now let us get these boxes up here. And I completely missed. And I completely missed again. Come on now. Oh. Let's just, let's just use the double jump. I keep forgetting I have it and I really should be using it more. 
Let's just get rid of you, because I've had about enough of you. And you. So now we're back where the, the bonus path would have... Uh, or the gem path would meet back up with uh, the main path, so... Let's do this. Let's not do what we did during the time trial and just wait patiently here. <laughs> I'm actually very, uh, very, uh, very much paying attention to my audio recorder right now. Because, like, before, I've been using Audacity this entire time, and the problem I have with Audacity, like, before I never really used it because it was kind of unstable. Uh, like, in the early days of Let's Playing, Audacity tended to crash a, bu a bunch. Um, that's not really the case anymore, but Audacity has to take time converting the file every time you finish recording. And for so I have patience problems, and I don't really like... That is not a thing I like doing, so instead I'm using a program I wrote myself. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually testing it for a long recording. Like, I know it works, I just haven't really tested how stable it is yet, so... Maybe not the best idea to do this on an LP video. I should just like leave it running in the background while I'm doing other stuff or something. And, like have it record my computer sounds or something. But it seems to be working quite well, so I hope this recording turns out okay. And we're not getting all the boxes on this one. Let's see if we can at least win the race still. I hope we can. We that would be great if we could. I would have liked to get all the boxes and win the race, but that almost never happens. Now, I don't even know why I'm still picking them up, because it's not going to matter. So yeah, once again we have one of these uh, one of these racing levels. Like I said, not a very big fan of them. Though this, this one uh, in particular is kind of cool with the whole nighttime setting here. Let's try... well... I probably just bossed that up, and now I definitely did, so let, let me meet you back. Okay, so here we are again. I've decided to uh, cut back here and just show you uh, the track all over again. I'm, I'm gonna try to get all the boxes on this run. I don't really care if I win or not, as long as I uh, can get all the boxes on this one. So that I can just go back and be like, okay... You've seen everything now, I can just show you the end and get the crystal. Because I'm pretty sure it's already pretty clear that I'm not going to be winning this, so let's just try and get all the boxes. Because... Did I get all of them there? I sure hope I did. I think I did. I think I heard three boxes breaking. I could be wrong, but I hope I'm not. If I get to the end of this and I've missed one box, it would be kind of silly. Especially since this is like my third attempt at this. Because I was trying to go for all the boxes before, but then I... Like, some something bumped me and I ended up missing one, which was annoying. That's... Well, that's one way of getting past there, I suppose. I was gonna say, don't put me past the boxes, please. That would suck. For some reason, I'm not getting any sound when picking up a box anymore. That's weird. I wonder what's causing that. So let's just take it carefully and get these boxes. This this level is actually pretty hard to commentate on for some reason. Not really. There's not really much going on, especially if you're going this uh, if you're going this slowly. Look at that. Thank you. We need five more boxes. There's three of them. Or four of them, actually. I hope that's not the last four, and there should be another one. Otherwise, I've definitely missed that box at the beginning. Please, let there be another... Thank you! That's all the boxes. That's all I wanted from this. <laughs> now we can just finish the race and get the, uh, the gem. I was gonna say, if you bump me out of the way and I end up missing the gem, I'd be so mad. <laughs> so, let me just meet you back back here uh, when I actually do win the race. Okay, I think we can cut back here. I am uh, in first now, or at least I was, until this guy got in my way. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? No! No, we are not losing this. <laughs> I refuse to lose this because of that stupid 
guy in front there. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Can I get past them again? Can I get past them again before the finish line? Oh my god, I can. Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes. Please keep this up. Please keep this up. Oh, there's another speed boost here. Don't go in those holes. Don't go in those holes! Uh, how far behind me are they? You can't really look behind you in this, which kind of... Sometimes I kind of wish I could, but... Uh, that scared me. I thought... I thought I was going to lose because of that guy. I didn't know... I didn't know they gave you this much room to mess up on this level. But I guess they do, so we did get our crystal, which is good. Now, there is one more thing in this level. Um, and I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, I'll just meet you over there, actually, because it's... Well, I don't know, is it that far into the race? It might not be. Let's just, let's just not cut at all. We've already been cutting enough here. So, if we just follow the path here, the path, the road, I suppose. Can't really call this a path. <laughs> so, if we, just, if we just keep following the road, eventually we will run into something on the side of the road. Don't let this be too far. This right here, this alien sign, you can hit it, and when you do... You get teleported away, and this takes us to, um, another secret level, the other secret level. There's only two in the game. This level is... Hot Coco. And this level I always found was very out of place. I almost hit those nitros. This level is quite unique. Um, you start off right at the exit of the level here. But there's a bunch of nitro boxes, and this whole level actually just goes around in a circle. There's not really like a linear path, and I'm pretty sure it's the only level in the game that does that. I'm pretty sure it's like the only level in, well, at least all of the Crash Bandicoot games that I've played that does this. It's usually just a linear path you're following. But uh, it can be quite tricky to, uh, to 100%. Um, especially, like, there's a, there's a couple of checkpoints, like right here. Which, well, I might as well hit this one, even though you probably shouldn't do that, and you should probably wait until you have some more boxes. I, let, let's get away from that shark. <laughs> let me get this box while I'm here. Suddenly I'm very scatterbrained, I don't know why. I also don't know why I'm doing this level in this video, I kind of shouldn't be, but let, let's just make this a longer video, just because I, um... Just because I haven't, like, uploaded any videos, uh, last week. Or we might just make this whole thing, uh, like a big recording, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Especially because I don't, like, I don't trust the audio recorder to do that kind of stuff yet. I kinda wanted to... Okay. I'm good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna run into that. Yeah, this box we can't even get right now because of these nitro boxes. Can we get this one at least? We can, but it's quite dangerous, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. So, yeah, there's that box that we can get. I think the most important thing to do right now, and I should remember that that box is there, um, is to find the green... Uh, the green exclamation mark box so we can get rid of all these nitros that are in our way. Like I said, this level is actually quite tricky to 100% because it's quite the open level and for some reason I always seem to be like missing one or two boxes all and I'll and I'll be looking for them for like 10 to 15 minutes before I finally find them. Is that bomb gonna hit me? I, I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Have I died? at all yet in this video. I don't think I have, and I probably shouldn't have said that, because now I'm going to. <laughs> There's a box over here, which is quite dangerously placed, and we just barely jumped over that bomb. There's two more over here, and they're also, they're a little bit easier to get. Ah, we have these boxes over here between the bombs. We've done this before, and uh, ugh. <laughs> And uh, what was that level called? Ski Crazed? The bonus level from uh, the first area here. 
so... It's quite hard to commentate on this as well, because there's not really much to see. It's just like a big circle with a bunch of obstacles and a bunch of boxes to collect. I actually wouldn't mind seeing a checkpoint right now. That would really make me happy. Let's see if we can get these. There we go. Ooh, there was an extra life in that one. Now this box is underwater, and in order to get it, and there's a checkpoint. Let me get these boxes first while I'm at it. Ooh. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Well, uh, let me get a good angle on this. So I don't accidentally jump into the nitros. There we go. So in order to get this box down here, you want to hold down your forward button as, you're, uh, as you land back on the water. To, like, dive under a little bit. That's the only way to, uh, to get that box as far as I'm, o as far as I'm aware. Now let's get this... Did I... Did I get that check? I managed to jump right over it because of the waves. <laughs> so now that we have that, at least we uh, won't have to redo all that again if we do manage to die. Which again, I'm not planning on doing, but you never know. There's a nitro box. There's two nitro boxes over here. This is dangerous, and I still survived it. Like, well, what is this? Reverse karma or something? <laughs> I say I'm gonna die, and then I just don't die. And maybe that's the trick to it, I don't know. There's those nitro boxes over here. I really want to find that green exclamation mark box. That actually makes the time trial for this level quite interesting, because kind of all you have to do for that time trial is find the green exclamation mark box and head back to the start, and you're done. That is if you know where it is. Uh, there is that one checkpoint that we skipped. Um, where did we go here? What all did I get? I mean, we still have like... Let's get this. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but there's still another one, I think. Oh, we didn't get this box. And we should probably also get that other one up there. Yeah, there's still that checkpoint box, so there, there is that if we do, uh, if we do want to save our progress in this. And I also did see a box over here, two boxes in fact. So let's line up, which I apparently can't do. And there we go. So only 23 boxes left, and we still need to find a green exclamation mark box. I mean, once we get once we get all those nitros counted counted in, uh, there probably won't be very many boxes left. There's some more over here. I mean, we have to be like close to that green exclamation mark box. It's like one of the few things we haven't done yet in this level because we're pretty close to done now. This is going to loop back to the start, so. Where... What am I missing here? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's the start of the level, so... That's not gonna help us any further. Sometimes what I like to do is just go to the inside, and then to back to the outside, and just repeat that a whole bunch until you, like, get... Until you find what you're looking for. Sometimes I feel like that's pretty much the best thing you can do here if you want to get everything. And I might start cutting if this takes too long, because I don't really... I feel like the commentary is already going kind of stale, and I don't really like that. Uh, yeah, there's no boxes left here. We already got all of those. Here's where we went in between the bombs to get those boxes, so let's... Oh, okay, it's right here. How did I miss that? Wow. So, let's line up. Let's go in between, and... There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. We only have two boxes left, and I know exactly where they are. Because one of them is the checkpoint box, and the other one is the, uh... The box that was behind the two nitros that we couldn't get, so... Let's just get those two boxes real quick, and then we'll be done. Let's not get eaten by the shark. If I actually... If I can actually do hot cocoa without dying, 
That, that's ama- that's just amazing, because this level, some of these jumps are quite tricky, and I usually die at least once when I'm playing this level. Okay, where... where is that one box? Okay, there it is. And then all that's left to do is just get the, uh... Get the checkpoint box and get out. It's weird that the last box we're, c we're getting in the level is a checkpoint box. That doesn't usually happen. Though I do wonder where it is. I've kind of lost it. Mm, should be near it. Right? I get, I get turned around in this level so easily. Maybe it's like a draw distance issue. You can't really see too far ahead of you. Which, I feel like that's kind of the problem with this level and why it's so hard to 100% it's just that you can't really see what's ahead of you because the draw distance isn't too great because well it's a ps1 game i mean it's the best they, they could do probably i've already gone full circle again will i cut or will i not cut and just keep this all in while i look for the checkpoint box uh, i guess we'll keep it in Unless this takes too long, of course. Just go back and forth again here. It has to be around here somewhere. There it is. Finally. Now let's just go back. Let's complete the level, and then we gotta back, head back in here for the time trial. But, uh... Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do for this video. I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a, at, a loss, at a loss for words here. Uh... <laughs> But we should be able to get... Actually, I just went right past it. And it's right over there, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got turned around here so easily, so uh, we'll see how the time trial of this one goes. So with that, I think we are done with this video. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.